days now, Mesa Ibe has been in a celebratory mood, beaming with joy and pride. The overwhelmed mom has paused to evaluate a difficult life, including being a single parent, when she single-handedly sent her daughter to a foreign university. Her daughter is Michelle, her very first child, and she admitted that she had doubted her decision numerous times, particularly after hearing many controversial stories of young people studying abroad without their parents' watch. Then, buttressing her point, she noted that she was financially unable to even travel with her daughter when she gained the admission. She could not accompany her daughter to Canada because she could not afford tickets for two people. Mercy then disclosed that she sometimes considered giving up, but then God came through for her successfully. She shared two pictures. Uh, the first one on the left-hand side is a picture of when Michelle left the country for Canada. The other part is when uh, Michelle was celebrating two days ago when she graduated from the University of Manitoba. Messi's words were, uh, so sorry, I'm flooding your timeline. I just can't contain my joy. Picture on the left was the day Michelle left Nigeria. The day was a roller coaster of emotions for me. I was happy because it has always been my dream. But I was super scared that she would be all by herself. I was so worried and couldn't sleep for days. I kept thinking and asking myself if I made the right decision. I was happy because it has always been my dream, but I was super scared that she would be all by herself. I was so worried and couldn't sleep for days. I kept thinking and asking myself if I made the right decision. Because we hear a lot of stories about kids studying abroad, how they can succumb easily to peer pressure. A lot of stories. I was so worried she was going to be all by herself in a strange land. I couldn't go with her that very day because I couldn't afford ticket for both of us then because I had used all my money to pay school fees. <laughs> Story for another day. I had to send her on a complaint. I stayed up all through, kept waiting for my phone to ring. <laughs> you all have no idea. It was a tough period for me, but God showed up strong. Picture on the right is now. God made my dream come true. Kept me alive in great health to see this day empowered me to see her through it wasn't easy but god in his infinite mercy did it there were times i almost gave up i remember a particular year it wasn't easy i had even told michelle that she might need to come back and finish in one of the universities back home that i had too too many responsibilities and things are not going smoothly but i never stopped working and god did it please if you're alive if you can move your hands legs and every part of your body if you can see and read please help me type Thank you, God, in the comment section, please. Just help me thank God. I can't stop thanking God. My heart is so full of gratitude. Master's next, and I'm confident God will still do it. Thank you, God. Some people were also agreeing with Mercy that uh, studying abroad is no joke at all, especially with this crazy exchange rates. So congratulations to Mercy Aibe's daughter, and congratulations to Mercy on this feat. Messi Aibe has two children, a girl, Michelle Aibe, and the son, Jumi Gentry. The proud mom then went ahead to review some qualities of her daughter, saying that she's an epitome of strength, hard work, and determination. Michelle was also tearing up at her graduation party when she was speaking about her mom, the struggles of the years and all. She's currently 22 years old. And in addition to all this, Messi had earlier on shared an open letter to her amazing daughter. And I want to add them, Michelle, for 22 years, you have been constant in my life. We have cried together, laughed together, experienced life together. I remember when I decided you would be going to study abroad. I was so scared of so many things, but you kept assuring me you'd be fine. I cried so many times because I was so worried about you leaving my side. But today, I'm so thankful that I made that decision. Look at you. Look at how far you have come. I'm so thankful to be a huge part of your life and the wonder God is making out of your life. In the past years, I've seen you face your fears, gone through the things life brought and come out just fine. You have grown to be this smart, very brilliant, extremely hardworking, intelligent young woman and I'm loving it. I tell you every single time and I'm saying it again. I'm very proud of you, Michelle. Thank you for not throwing the morals and values I taught you away. Thank you for always remembering the daughter of whom you are. You make me so happy and I pray that this feeling is forever. As you move on to a new season in life, I pray that God Almighty will hold you by the hand and guide you. You will not falter, you will not stumble. He will keep you and be everything that you need him to be for you in every step of the way. Michelle, look at you. Gorgeous, intelligent, God throwing prayer for a goal setter. Brilliant, calm, humble, tenacious, smart respectful, caring, so gracious, and a good cook. Your jollof rice in particular. I love you wholeheartedly, my darling daughter. Thank you for making mama proud. Congratulations once again, my love, Michelle. Signed, mom of the latest graduate, mommy Michelle. 
Messi Aibe. Messi is an award-winning Nigerian actress, filmmaker, and producer who is best known for acting in Ibra movies. She's also an entrepreneurial brand influencer, founder of Messi Aibe Gentry School of Drama, and she owns an ashwabi store, skincare store, and a fashion store. This movie star became known in Hollywood in 2006 with the movie Ara. But before then, she had always wanted to act, but she didn't know how to go about it professionally until her OND days. This was when it became a big deal to her. As a result of this, in 2001, she went on to study theater at, at the University of Lagos so that she could become a professional actor. And aside from acting, Mercy is also a businesswoman with diverse sources of income. She has a fashion store called Magdevas Boutique, which she launched in November 2014. She also has a skincare line called Flawless by Mercy and an Ashabi store called Ashabi Mercy. Many times people say that you can't depend only on the money you get from featuring in movies. So you have to diversify. She founded the Mark School of Drama in the year 2016. The school is said to offer a formal training in acting, script writing, movie making, stage management, and, and so much more. Students are said to be under the tutelage of well-trained and experienced instructors who help them build a solid foundation and develop the skills they need to succeed in the highly competitive industry nollywood industry and ever since she joined the industry she has featured in over 100 and ever since she joined the industry she has featured in over 100 movies and produced some as well in fact uh one of the latest ones that she produced is omo daddy she co-produced this one with her husband kazima dioti and it's currently being streamed on this platform youtube some of the movies that she has featured in over the years include satanic ara afefe fe okonjo atunidale Ibiraga, Ihamo, Ibisa, Irofo, Fuma, Fishiri, Oji, Ife, Omo, Giosas, Ilioko, Mi, Victims, The Screenplay, Little Drops of Happy, Flaky, Jaya, 77 Bullets, 200 Million, Second Act, Heaven on My Mind, Because Real Fake Life, That Which Binds Us, A Big Fat Lie, and The Reunion. This is just to mention a few of them. And of course, she is a multi award winning actor with several awards and nominations to her name, both national and international awards. Mercy has been a single mom for quite some time now, responsible for her daughter and her son. Mama is quite early in her 20s. This was when she gave birth to Michelle with her first husband. Not so much is known about this man. We've never even seen the picture before online. And the actress does not really speak so much about the man, except for the time in an interview where she stated that it was her mommy law that did not allow that uh, marriage to work. According to her, the mom in law did not want her husband to marry someone from outside their tribe. And after some years, she gave it another shot and tied the knot with a popular Lagos hotelier and a businessman, Larry Gentry. But then that marriage also did not uh, last for so long. However, she has a son with a man, and his name is John Gentry. And now, our 22 years old daughter, our very first child, that became a graduate. And we've come to the end of this episode where Mercy Aibe, the overjoyed mom, cannot uh, contain her joy, her emotions. As she brags about her daughter, Michelle, we hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know to new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.